Alrighty, this is the video review for the, uh, we're going to get into Judenchi Set 01, uh, but this is for the Kyoryujin, the, uh, the big combiner mech, the first three mechs uh, combined to a robot from Kyoryujin. Um, so yeah, as you can see, Gabotiro, the main uh, Tyrannosaurus here, is uh, quite large, and uh, doesn't really fit on camera. So we'll focus on the two smaller mechs, uh, Stagochi and the Rakera. Uh, first, and we'll get into the combined mode. Uh, these guys don't have any actual, like, sound functions in them. Uh, they do come with, you do get the, uh, Judenshi for these three, one, three, and five. Which one you can use in the revolver to morph into, uh, blue, red, blue, or pink ranger. Uh, also activates the abilities of the, uh, the mechs themselves. Now, uh, they do still have the same, uh, flip with the glow-in-the-dark dinosaurs and the shiny foil, um, on each side. And then the, when inserted into the mechs, will get their own thing. Obviously, uh, Dracara, or Dracara um, is a drill site Triceratops. So you get the Drew for drill, Sarah for Ceratops. Uh, everything I've heard, even in, you know, vocally in the show, is Dracara or Dracara. Uh, so I, I, I sometimes it's, it's tempting to say Dracara because it sounds like Triceratops. But uh, but there you go. Um, and then Stegochi, which is the Stegosaur. For the Blue Ranger, and then Gabutira, which is uh, the Red Ranger's uh, Tyrannosaurus. Or Kyoru Reds, not really the Red Ranger. And Kyoru Blue and Kyoru Pink. So, yeah. Um, and they each have, like I said, they're not superposable. They each, you know, they're just dinosaurs. Cool dinosaurs. Um, I kind of wish that Stegosaur had been the green one, but oh well. Because uh, Stegosaurus is one of my favorite dinosaurs, and I like green. So. But yeah, he's, he's standing here, he's got his spikes, his tail spikes, his fins. And then if you open up his mouth, you open it up all the way, you plug in his Judenchi. Powers him up. There you go. And there's a button here on his stomach that lets you push it all the way in. You push that down, and then push this all the way in. And as you do, it pops up a special weapon. Now he has a fin blade that you can flip forward and charge with and all that stuff. You can also use it in combined mode um, as a weapon. This whole piece comes off. So yeah, and that's about all there is for Stagochi. Um, same with Dracara. He's got the uh, Dracara. He's got the uh, the drill here on the tail of the horns. You do have to lift the horns here up a little bit, open up the mouth all the way, pop in that, push the button on the bottom here, and when you do that, it uh, push this in all the way, and it pops the drill out, activates the drill. And you pull that back down, and there they are, all power activated. We'll set them off to the side for right now. Now, Gabutira is, as you can, like I said, much larger. It's Tyrannosaur, so we can get this all the way up. Very big, very massive uh, Tyrannosaur here. Uh, it does have sound in it. Now, it does make the main body of the mech, so there's a reason for that. But, like, there's a switch back here. It also needs two AAA batteries, which you'll need to provide yourself. You turn it on. Um, and he's semi-posable. His mouth chomps. Um, you can move his arms a little bit. Um, his legs here can, uh, well, actually, oh yeah, here we go. They're, they're kind of pegged into place, but, uh, you can move them a little bit. The tail should stay on. Um, but yeah, he's big. So once he's on, again, you plug in his Judenshi, which one will make a noise. Chompa chompa, gabotira, gabotira, is what he says. And then if you push his mouth down, there's a button up inside the top of his mouth. It won't activate when it's empty. But with uh, Judenshi in there, you push this down, and his spikes activate. Let me do that again, because it looks like the top of his head is just out of frame again. So yeah, here you go. He's got some spikes up here in his head. So, and that's, again, that, that's all there is right now, action-wise, for him. Uh, you, you can do this. Uh, you can push this... Okay, we want to pop that out because we didn't mean to start that yet. That, that's his combination noise. I thought maybe he'd make an attack noise, but nope, that is... There we go. If you don't have a Judenshi in, he just makes a roaring noise. I was say, I knew there was like a generic dinosaur noise. Now, to combine them, like I said, on the, on the Judenshi, they have these readers here. They're, there's different peg, peg uh, buttons here on the batteries. And... Uh, it corresponds inside. It's hard to see inside there, but there's six buttons in inside some of the readers on these guys, or at least on him, that reads these corresponding dot patterns. 
And so, uh, but down here, when you plug these in, there's a sensor that lets you know that there's a judenshi and something's attaching. There's a button in there, but it's not a sensor. So you, before you have to combine them, you have to scan the three you're going to use. So basically what you do is you take Gabotira, since we're doing these three, Gabotira. Pop that out. And then we uh, pop the go cheese. We can push this button and it'll pop this out. Pop his out. Since we're going to put him over here, we scan him next. And the same thing here on the Kara. Pop her open. Pop her out. And, uh... All right, so we have now prepared him for transformation. Um, now these you want to stick back in, so they're sticking out like that. You don't want to you don't want to push this button to slide them back in. You want this coming out because this has to come up far enough to hit the button to know that it's attached. And same with uh, Tsugochi. So now those are prepared for transformation, and then we'll go ahead and start transforming. We could have gone ahead and transformed him most of the way before we did it, but um, so the first thing we do is slide the tail off. And then you open the, split the tail in half, and inside there's a little post that stores uh, his helmet for robot mode. We'll get to that in a minute. We'll set that off to the side. The legs here, you want to fold. Up, oh, we push the button. Fold them up like this, up against the sides, like that. I uh, push these buttons here, these gray buttons. I'll uh, bring them down a little bit, uh, or I guess split them in half. There we go. Push those button because they're pegged together, and that will slide them down, bring them forward, and then rotate the whole assembly here at the waist. I'll bring the, bring the arms down too as well, down at the waist. Um, and, and then this is ready, oh, and then right here there's some panels on the front of the legs that you want to uh, flip down. These flip down and fill in this gap right here, make them look straight in the front and with some detailing. And then you've got him pretty much ready to go. So when you do that, you just push this button on the front, and that's going to... Oh, I just want to put uh, Gabotira back in. And now we push this button, and it's going to start the henshin sequence. So now it's aware that uh, Stagochi is attached. He makes the drill noise. And he gave the ha 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 ha. Flip his head up, attach his helmet, push the button one last time. And it does its little finishing noise. Now there it has a little bit of a samba music. Um, when you get Parasagan and Zakator, which are on the way, um, they're the red, or the green and black mechs that will attach. Uh, you get uh, Kyriogen Western, which may play a different music beat. I know when Kiro Sion comes out, who's a big Viking guy and has an ankylosaur, uh, he makes uh, Kyriogen Macho. Um, so I'm assuming there's different music beats at the end of the combination sequence for those. But again, until they come out, I'm not sure. Um, you could, and then again, we're doing it now, you could have gone ahead and folded the legs up on here to form the arms. The tail piece, like we said earlier, uh, pegs into the back here. Only into these lower pegs, there's an upper set of pegs, which I think may be used when uh, Kira Gold's uh, Pteranodon cape can attach here. But uh, there's, gonna, there's a lot of ports here, we'll, sh we'll show some of them. Uh, because there's ports back here on the back of his legs. Little snap in ports that are not used uh, here on the cape, that's just where it holds together when you fold it in half, but are not used in dyno mode for anything. There's a port here in the middle of the foot, as well as a port here on the toe, uh, a little click in port uh, that aren't used for anything currently in any mode with the with what the mechs we've seen so far. And even the new ones, I don't think the, just the arms, I don't think change anything. I have seen uh, the Cure Gold's Pteranodon attached to the back, um, and then there's two pegs here on the front as well. So, uh, so all, all said and done, this guy could, uh, when all the mechs are out, could combine into a very massive uh, dino combiner, which I'm really looking forward to. And once you got that all done, you can pull off, like I said, you can pull off Stagochi's uh, whole back, and you can open these up, and you can have him hold it in his hand like a shield. 
um, just like a defensive shield like that. You can also, if if you wish, uh, they're actually you can flip it around like that, so it's a defensive shield. Um, that's how I like to do it. But uh, also, uh, I've seen somebody you can flip the if you flip the blade all the way up and then close this. He's got kind of like a saw sword. So yeah, uh, there's a couple different ways you can use his weapon. I haven't seen him use it as a sword like that in the show. Doesn't mean he won't. Doesn't mean he will. It's just something I saw somebody do online with it and figured I would show that off. So make sure you push this all the way in. So he holds it and uh, back up here. As you can see, he's very, very massive. Um, like I said, he's, he's, he's at the top of the head very slightly shorter than Gokaio, but just a whole lot more mass to him. And, and a lot of it, like I said, if you pop off the arms, like I said, all of this is just Gabotira. Like the only thing is, so he, he makes up a lot of the mech, which is why he's so big individually. Um, he does have power attacks. Um, he, normally, like this, if you just push the button. Okay. So at that point, I guess we have to pop this out first. So we'll pop out uh, Gabotira here. Pop it back in. There we go. So there you hear from, from the revolver earlier, you hear the kaboom, which is his little noise, and then a longer attack effect. We'll get in through, we also have the Jujenshi set 01, which is 17, 18, and 19, which is Ovarapu, uh, Tuparanda, and Igaranadon. So uh, we'll, we'll use those up in here and show off some of the different sounds you can make with it. We'll also do uh, Alamera and uh, Stamero. Alamaris. I will do Alamaris first. So he does his little call out attack. Um, go into Stimera. Little whoopy weird attack there. Now we'll do a Garandadon. Do uh, Tuparanda. <laughs> it's kind of a weird little whistle going on that. Uh, save for last, I saved uh, Ovarapu, which uh, obviously is a play on Ovaraptor. Um, I thought the poo was maybe just a thing, but uh, it's not. <laughs> we'll get over that. I don't know if he said boom or poop before that, and then a fart noise. Um, so they're clearly they're clearly aware of the pun of over <laughs> So yeah. Um, now because you don't, and that's those are all the individual ones. Because uh, you don't need a specific Judenshi here in the, uh, in these. There's just a, a button knowing to recognize there's one. I'll go ahead and pop these out, and we can hear us the Gochi and Drakara's uh, special attacks as well. Um, we may have to redo the whole henshin sequence. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe if I just do this, it'll it'll go in and let me do it. So we're just using random uh you can just to fill them in. Okay. Okay, well. Okay. So uh that just that was just went through a sequence without announcing anything, but now we'll do the attacks.
So you hear the drill attack there, and then it's the gochi. And that's all the noises right now we can make with this guy. We'll do Galatino one more time. So yeah, a lot of different noises. Uh, apparently all the different Jujenshi are going to have a different sound in him. And if you heard some of the ones earlier, it's just a longer version of the revolver, and that's why I didn't do it twice, because it makes the same little kaboom or drill, and it, but it does it a little longer in the, in the mech, so if we're going to get the whole, the full effect, I might as well just use them in here. Um, it's really, like, when I first saw it, I thought it looked kind of chintzy, and then I saw uh, Mr. S play with it on the CS Toys uh, demo video, and I'm like, that's actually kind of cool, and I ended up ordering one, and, uh, and I'm glad I did, because like I said, when you first look at just pictures of it, you're like, ah, oh, he's kind of bulky and blocky. He's a lot of fun. He looks really cool. Um, granted, his posability is limited. You know, he's got a little bit of leg movement, and then his arms move like this. There's no rotating movement or anything like that, just big fists. But um, he's really actually n just nice and neat. And I can't, like I said, I can't wait to see what his final combined super mode is, because he's got ports all over his body. And I'm curious as to what we're going to do. There's definitely going to be something, some armor that attaches here. Like I said, I know Kiro Gold's uh, big Pteranodon mech can attach back here as like a flight pack. Or maybe even just a big cape. Uh, but like I said, there's ports underneath here and on the back of the legs that could... It could be one thing that atta attaches under here. It could be something that's going to attach back here. Something that's going to attach down here and give him bigger feet. And like something here to attach him some front armor. We're really... Maybe even, you know, possibly even different helmets... Uh, depending on different modes, because I, I think uh, I actually I think uh, Kiro Golds gives him a different helmet. Actually, now that I think about it, but uh, really, really neat toy. I'm glad I got it. I can't wait for uh, the Judenshi Seto Two and the Parasagon and uh, Zakator to get here uh, later. Or like I said, they just they just got. I, don't, I think one shipped and the other one hadn't even been packed yet. So whenever whenever they get here, but we'll do that. But uh, really nice, really neat, fun, and I'm looking forward to uh, messing around with it. So there it is, the uh, from Kyoruja, the Kyoruja.